Hey everyone, welcome to an, another Goody Reader exclusive video! Yeah, My name's Michael! My name's Peter! Woo! We have here the Amazon Kindle Voyage! Oh yeah! And the purpose of today's video is just to show you the experimental browser that has not really changed in the last seven years <laughs> uh, from the, all the way to like the Kindle keyboard all the way to today. It's still experimental. So we're going to go to Google, but we have to type in Google dot com, there was a dot com button i should have pressed that i immediately regret that so what this is is a web browser that your e-reader can use you can do things like visit web pages search for things via uh search engines google yahoo whatnot we'll just type in kindle as an example uh, you can also do things like send emails if you go to our youtube channel at youtube.com slash goodyreader we have several videos showing us sending emails on amazon kindle devices you can send emails through uh, gmail yahoo hotmail what have you uh, there's no restrictions with that basically the only things you can't do are play games look at flash uh, there's no fluidity in any sort of motion on e-readers so you can't watch movies of course but everything else, text, base pages, Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of stuff you can go to. Yeah, not a whole lot of settings to customize your experience. No. You can disable images in JavaScript. I think that's so important in terms of load times, the images. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because you can go to say our website here at goodereader.com. And we know something weird with the Kindle is that it's not loading the mobile edition of our website like it does say like on a smartphone and tablet. You can see here, this is optimized for mobile editions, but for some reason the Kindle always calls up the desktop edition first. So let's just turn off images and everything like that and see what happens. So we'll strip away all the images. We're just left, left with the text. Right. So we can click on an article. There we go. Not necessarily uh, it, you know. Not really that different it, than it, the last it, You can't really read this that well unless you're pinching and zooming. But what you can do is you can go to article mode. Now that is a nice feature. Check this out. Boom. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's totally optimized. There should be a nice image there, but we disabled images for load time. Right. So what we can do is we can re-enable that if we yeah. wanted to. So it has an option here to enable images. Now we're left with a nice clean article. But what you notice here is that it gets out of article mode. Right. So what we noticed is if you uh, want to read websites in article mode, every time you load up a different page, it kicks you out of article mode and puts you back in the st if you're in mobile mode or if you're in desktop mode. Right. Beauty, so this is that it's super optimized left to right, margin to margin, and it's like reading an ebook. Super good. Super good. Yeah. Super goody reader. <laughs> so you can, you can, like Peter said, you can do emails, you yep. can visit Twitter, you can update your statuses on Facebook. You can pretty well do anything that you can, but you can't expect to use this Kindle uh, Voyage in the same manner as you would, say, an iPhone when you're visiting pages like on a website. Or Android devices. Right. So Amazon has pretty well given you a cool feature that you could do, but it's not 100% reliant. There I, are bugs and problems with it. I think so. It, it kind of feels that the way internet on e-readers is, it's kind of like when you don't have another option. Your cell phone's dead, your laptop isn't working, you don't have access to your computer, what happened? Yeah, you? you're on vacation, yeah. you're on a beach reading a book, and then it's like, hey, I wonder if someone replied to the comment I made on their picture yes. on their wall. It's like you can you visit can. it, but you're not going to get any fluidity at all. You got to be patient, is basically. Exactly. It's all about patience. And e-readers are like an exercise in patience. Oh, you get yeah. the best e-book experience bar none other than like a print book, but reading on an e-reader, tremendously better than reading on a tablet, yeah. reading on a smartphone, sees you on your eyes. It's, it's a better overall experience, but it does come with some drawbacks. Yes, it does. So hopefully you found this video informative or even dare I say 
Delightful. Oh, shit. Drop a comment below. Let us know what you think. And for Giddy Weeder, my name is Michael. My name is Peter. Everybody take care.